Stephen Emma here from showhomesonline.com and today we are at Idleshell Gardens and that is in Shifnal in Shropshire and we're here to see the fantastic Chester by Bogus Homes and um, this is a beautiful five bedroom detached house um, in the a lovely market town of Shifnal which is a really nice area. It's actually a lovely warm October day and you can see the fantastic flowers here you know reminiscent lovely lovely country garden don't you it's think? It's a very well stocked garden. It is, isn't it, it is beautifully landscaped. Well let's go, and let's go and take a little look at the Chester. Well we've already viewed the Chester today um, and that was in Eccleshall not too far away here um, and that was a slightly different house type to this that was half up the render. So this is a near enough a full full render with just the bottom brick skirt showing here and you can see how crisp the lines are on that render. It's got a lovely sort of over on brickwork there really nice. Um, you can see coming around, it's got that beautiful bay window there, as you can see. That's that's the study there, and that's the big bay window which gives this house all its character and its look. So, without further ado, let's go and take a look inside. Okay, and we are the other way around. We should have kept the plan from the other one. <laughs> So we're um, we're in. So this is a slightly different interior to the um, the other the other one. So it's, it's actually quite a different hallway altogether, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Feels, I'm trying to get my head around it. It feels very different. Yeah. Okay. Very different feel as well. Oh, and look, ladies. It's back to front, front, isn't it? That's why. Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, ooh, okay. Okay. So we'll start in the study. Look at that. That's a shoe. That's what? unusual, isn't it? What's the shoe for? I think it's for putting your pens in. Oh. Anyway, so this is but, but, the study. What, what is that? I've no idea. Someone's left their glasses. Anyway. Okay. Set up as a study. Really, really nice. I like the feel in here. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, they've got blinds at the windows, but big window. It's grown up this. A lot of little different, a lot of touches in this one. Very, like very nice, yeah. you can see down here, we've got an, a pair of glasses. We've got the glasses case. We've got a couple of random feathers as well. Really nice. We've got some big light fittings again as oh, well. Oh, they are. Yeah. They, they're quite clever, aren't they? You can have them whichever way you want. Well, well, I wouldn't like to touch them anyway. But in terms of versatility, you could use this room as a snug, uh, a little lounge, put your teenagers in here, playroom, music room, additional bedroom. And could also be yeah, an additional bedroom, which would make this house or up if to you six. Work from home, you use it as a snug. I'd like to work from here. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's nice. So we've got an understairs cupboard. Yeah. And it is right next to the stairs. Oh, that's pretty empty. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, not yeah. bad. Okay. So if we come around the corner. Downstairs the loo. I love this tiling. It goes all the way through. There's continuity all the way through. Right even the way through into the kitchen. Yeah, even too. the stairs flawless. Look at that. Now yes. that's how it should flow, that's isn't very, it? Yes, yes, very, very yeah. nice tiling. Okay, so an internal loo. Smells nice. Lou, yeah. downstairs WC. Downstairs WC and it's internal so there's no window. Yeah, um, it's got a nice little wall here which is great for, uh, you could have a nice mirror on there or or obviously have well, some coat hooks, yeah. yeah. Rather cloak, we have a cloak room. Absolutely. Right. That's the cloak so, room. Lounge. Wow, this is beautiful. Okay, so we have a grown up house. And I've got another one of these, here you look. Very nice. <laughs> Magnifying glass, isn't it? Well, what's the uh, let's just say for the for argument's sake, it's some kind of a horn, yeah. It? It's a T Rex tooth, let's Could just be, a, claw, yeah. Yeah. a claw, yeah. Just for the purposes of the review, that is a T Rex claw. This yeah. guy goes, he, he goes exploring a lot, okay. So they've got curtains on the bay, whereas the other one we've seen today had blinds, but actually, you get a lot more light coming in, don't you? Really? I, I want to play a little game, okay. Now I want you. When we do a house review, we gonna we need to think of a celebrity or someone of a film or a program that would own this house. Right. Right. I'm thinking. I'm thinking Indiana Jones, Sean Connery, he, in Indiana Jones, one of the Indiana Jones. He'd have this house. Sean Connery wasn't Indiana Jones. Has no, in was. Indiana Jones, right. his dad. No, I think this is more Joan Collins. You think so? Yeah. So that's an interesting thing we can do. Okay. If you've got any more suggestions, let us know. Yeah. Anyway, right. Two beautiful, beautiful sofas. And it'd be rude not to me for me to mention that bay window. Yes. You know I like that bay but window. 
plenty of room for additional furniture. Yep. You can have different configurations, sofas, chairs. You could even, if you can just have a look, you could even have a big corner sofa. Yeah. If you like that look at these thing. curtains, how this track just goes around the around the corner there effortlessly. Yeah, the, um, the interior design is, is, is lovely. Very clever. It looks like a dead easy track to put in as well. Mm. Okay. Right through to the back of the house. Wow. So, kitchen, dining, family space in here. This is great. I mean, now, the they've gone for a very different feel actually with this this room. Yeah. We've got a, a dining table for eight people. It's a big square one. Yeah. That's a huge dining table. But doesn't table. this give you the. In, doesn't this just illustrate how big this room is? So you can get. Back. Not having a sofa in here or any area of you know family space, yeah. you've got all of this as a dining area. It's 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 very very spacious and very luxurious. It's a really nice. I have room. to say, I do like it set out with with a sofa and some kind of lounge area as well. It just shows you the versatility. Yeah. But obviously, if you look at the other Chester that we've got on our site, you'll be able to see how. How yeah. This room can be well, this will be one of this will be stuff. one of three Chester's three, that yeah, you can yeah. look at. Beautifully landscaped garden. Have you seen this, Steve? In fact, this looks very much like something we build. Yes, it is it really, really nice. Does. Good job. That's a lovely garden. Good job. Yeah. You need to let the uh, need to water the grass when it's put down. Yeah. That's all we'll say. So we've got a breakfast bar here. Gorgeous this is a nice house, isn't it? Very grown up house. Loving the. Uh, Look at the clock. <laughs> Look at the clock. You'd have to really know. Yeah, that's about as basic as it gets. It is, it? yeah. Yeah. It's quite cool. That's not a clock, that's just two arms. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've got grey. They're, they're matte yeah. units. Um, and don't forget dishwasher. so we've got the drawers again that we've seen before yeah. but with different frontages i like I that like this i thought this was great the way that you've got the storage there look in the top because often one of these isn't enough is it from for a family's knives and forks and bits and pieces so with this with this you get the um cooker the dishwasher the oven and hob and or, this is a double oven yeah i can just show you what it does there you go they've got the grill pan in there as well and you've got more cupboard space underneath fridge and freezer yep. here oh that's cold yeah cupboard space above so plenty of room to put all your bits and pieces integrated appliances beautiful sink and you'll notice that there's an upstand around the work surface because we, we don't tend to see tiling anymore really we haven't seen tiling in kitchens for quite a while now yeah. It's, it's very on trend to just have an upstand, isn't it? And then we've got a utility. It's a big one, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good size. Yeah. But room for just one appliance. So you kind of need your, your tumble dryer and washing machine to be all in one. Because there isn't really any room to put it anywhere else, is there? And that's your boiler. Big uh, boiler. Yeah, or your consumer unit thing. Yeah. And there isn't room for much else in there. That's what that cupboard is for. You've also got oh, you're there, tucked away in that cupboard. Yeah. Door to the back garden from there, but you can also get through the French doors yeah. that are in the kitchen as well. So you've got two ways outside. And that's quite useful if you've got your washing. Three included in the front door. Pop it on the line, yeah. So a really long room here. If you can get the full perspective of it, it's a good, good size. This is a serious family space. And do you know, that's why we use the GoPro, because it can get the entire room in like this. There's so many things you could do with this space, isn't there? Yeah. It's really tremendous. Okay. Right then, I'll follow you, and we'll take a look upstairs. Now, I, I just feel some of this, this stair, well, it's very narrow. Um, yeah. 
and that might be a consideration with the type of furniture that you want to yeah, get up the stairs. Yeah, yeah, and that's it. Look at what you look at what you're buying and think what furniture you've got. And actual fact, there is a bit of a hollow, so you might be able to just get a really. You could just get a sofa up here. I suppose there are a lot of people have fitted wardrobes nowadays. Yeah, so yeah, that's it. it so heading forward. Hang on a sec. Right. Um, Bedroom four, five. <laughs> I don't even know where we are actually in terms of the plan. I think we're, we're above the study, so it's bedroom five. Yeah, yeah at the front. Yeah. Sorry, it's very difficult to get my bearings actually. Hmm. So what sort of a, a theme have they gone for in here? So obviously, it's a little girl's room, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Still a good size single bedroom though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Very pretty. Okay, so that was five. This is the main bathroom. It's a good sized bathroom, I think. Got a, uh, a shower over the bath, side taps, which I always like. Sanitary wear is very nice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I, I like the sanitary wear that's off the floor. It makes cleaning your bathroom much, much easier. I think. Okay, and at the back then we've got bedroom three, which is a double bedroom. That's a pretty light fitting there. That's really beautiful, isn't it? This is nicely decorated, very light and bright. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. And again, you've not got any curtains. It's just white blinds, so it doesn't take away from the. It is very, very minimalistic, isn't it? And considering it is a pretty miserable, gloomy day outside today, this room is very bright. And, in actual fact, you could fit a bigger bed in here. Yeah. You've got room for wardrobes, chest of drawers, additional furniture. It's a good sized bedroom. Okay. Here we've got bedroom four. Now let's start with something we don't see very now often. Now look, yes, set up as a nursery. Don't see that very often, so thumbs up to that baby. Oh. Beautiful. In fact, I can't remember the last time we saw a room with a cot in it. I don't think I have. No, not well, not for a very, very long this time. This is a really nice wardrobe, isn't it? That's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that, three pieces, very elegant. Lovely. In fact, I'd like to know where that came from. That's lovely. Very nice. Very, very, very nice, Bovis, there. And I also like this, Steve. Look at the elephant. Isn't he lovely? Yeah, that is really the elephant in the room. He's beautiful. I like that a lot. Yeah. So, bedroom four. Let's just have a bit of a look. It's nine foot one by eight foot nine. So it's actually a really good sized single bedroom, isn't it? Yeah. And decorated beautifully. Got a rain cloud as a picture. Yeah. Well, that pretty much sums up the weather today, doesn't it? Yeah. Like this room. Right, bedroom four. So this is bedroom two, and it's got its own ensuite. So again, a double bedroom. You could fit a much bigger bed. Do you know? Look at this light fitting. I don't know what's going on with Bovis and light fittings at the moment, but it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, That's it's crazy. like it's almost like any they can turn anything into a light these days. Yeah. yeah. Um, Okay, so this is Ant in his room. I bet he likes to be called Ant for short. Or Tony. Tony, yeah. Or Anthony. Yeah. Some people like that. Yeah. Anyway, they've got um, quite a low double bed in here, but you could fit a much bigger bed. You could fit a super king size bed in here. Yeah. It's such a good size bedroom. And you've got room for additional furniture, wardrobes, chest of drawers, everything. Okay, it's got its own ensuite. It's nice and bright, isn't it? Yeah, really, it's a good size shower. A window. Nice. So you've got a double size shower. Again, the same sanitary wear, which is off the floor, and that good shelf for all your yeah. bits and pieces. It is nice. Which is really yeah. Essential. Yeah. So last but not least is bedroom one. That's the bedroom which on this house is at the back. Nice room. Beautiful headboard. Look at that. A 
This is very nice, isn't it? Very yeah. gold, clean, luxurious, nice chair. So they've got fitted wardrobes. That looks like one of those um, shopping trolley chairs, doesn't it? It's a good size wardrobe, <laughs> yeah. It's very nice, so they've got a little bit of a dressing table area. You could fit a bigger bed. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely ceiling to uh, floor curtains there. It's a nice touch. So let's take a look at the garden, actually. Yeah, it's really nice. It's a bit that great is, circle. That is a really nice garden. Yeah. Over there you can see the uh, Durham house type there, which is up for sale, as you can see. Yeah. And for those of you who don't know, we're, we're actually landscapers and uh, garden yeah. designers, and that does look like a garden that we would build. Yeah, it does look very similar, very, yes. Very, very nice. Okay. It's got its own ensuite. Tiled floor. And again, a good size shower. We do like that, rather than a little single cubicle that you're kind of, yeah. you're wedged in. You've got plenty of room for your shoulders and to move yeah. around in there. And you've got the sanitary ware that's off the floor again. Very nice detail with the tile in there too. Yeah, and it's got a mirror. Yeah. If you want to just have a little look. I did actually pan round to the mirror. Okay. There you go. Lovely. That's nice, isn't it? It looks like, it looks like a sleeping bag. It looks like a, it looks like the duvet, isn't it? Yes, that's what it does look like. But it's actually a, like an eider down quilt type thing. Right, which way? Ah, oh, here we go then. Right, so that is the Chester. Yeah. At Edishall Gardens in Shifnal, Shropshire, by Bovis Homes, and it's a five bed. It is, it is, I have to watch these light fittings, you know. They're, they're a murder for Just me. I'm only six foot two. Come this way, then. Let me. Yeah. Put me to hold it. Yeah. There we go. Right, so we'd really love to know what you think about this property and are you looking for a, a Bovis Home house? Um, are you looking in this area or somewhere else in the country where they're building this type of home? Are you looking in general? And just remember, what you see with Bovis, a lot of it's included, like a lot of developers, mm. you know, necessarily they're all extras, but what yeah. you do see is what you get with Bovis and that's really important when you're choosing a house. Yeah. Um, I mean, feel free to check our Bovis Homes um, uh, playlist, playlist. On, on our YouTube channel. You can get to that by going www.showhomesonline.com slash directory and click the Bovis logo and all of the videos will come up. So I hope you've enjoyed this look around this one. Um, but also, just quickly to mention that um, we, we'd love to know your feedback uh, because developers are asking us all the time what our viewers think of the houses uh, because they are really interested in your comments when they come yes. to design yeah. new houses because they want to design houses obviously that customers want yeah uh, so they're very interested to know uh, but please don't forget to subscribe for updates and new videos yeah. because we've got many more coming fairly soon um, and um, have a nice day and thanks for watching <laughs>